Hi, this is Jamie back with Compressor Source, and today's video is all about compressor tank drains. So if you've ever worked around a compressor or have a compressor, and I assume if you're watching this video, you have questions about air compressor tank drains. There's a wide variety, so I'm gonna dive in, tell you a little bit about the different ones, so you can choose which one's best for your application. So in front of me, I have really the most popular different versions of tank drains that there are, and I will explain them. So. One thing to note is 99% of compressors have quarter inch NPT as far as the bottom drain hole of the tank. So where the drain will screw in should be quarter inch female NPT on 99% of compressors. That is not always gonna be the case, but most of the time. Quarter inch NPT measures about a half inch in diameter to give you reference for some people that aren't sure uh, how to measure pipe thread size, but if you measure the hole, it should measure about a half inch in diameter. So this first, these first two drains here are pretty much the same thing. Just one is eighth inch and one is quarter inch. This is the only eighth inch tank drain we sell. Um, there is a few small portable compressors. You'll buy at like any of your large uh, home uh, uh, improvement stores that might have eighth inch MBT. That measures about three eighths of an inch in diameter. But this style here, you'll see a knurled uh, little end. These are usually O-ring sealed or there's like a Viton flat seal that butts up against the top of the body of this valve to seal it. These are really easy um, as far as just a standard twist style drain to seal. They don't get uh, clogged up as easy. And they're, they, you don't have, you know, if you've ever had one of the T styles like this that we'll talk about next, you're down under your tank with a wrench trying to get it open. That doesn't tend to happen so much on these because they seal better, seal easier. So these are, as far as a standard twist style tank drain, my favorite. Um, and they're pretty much the same price range as what this T-handled style will be. So this is the most common that you'll see in a, in a standard uh, compressor when you buy it. This is pretty much the same design except it seals differently in the fact that it's a brass to brass seal. So it's, it's metal to metal. There's no O-ring or uh, Viton soft seat that seals it. So what happens here is if you get any little type of rust or gravel or sand from the manufacturing of the air tank, it won't seal. And so then people get underneath the tank with the pliers and try to get it tighter and tighter and you can never easily drain your tank. Your tank doesn't get drained and your tank rests out and then you're replacing an air tank. So not my favorite, but it is standard uh, practice to use these uh, in new compressors, uh, but uh, it, it is an option that we sell. Next style is something that you usually don't see come on a compressor, but a lot of people will add. This is just a regular ball valve, but no threads on the outlet side. It's just a hole. Um, this screws into the quarter inch MPT. You twist this valve, you drain the moisture out of the tank, you're done. You're not gonna have problems uh, you know, underneath your tank twisting and turning. Um, but this does need a little bit more clearance. So depending on the bottom of the tank, you might need you know, more area. Uh, it might not work on your application. Moving forward to these, these are pole drains. So these have cables attached to them. These are pretty much the same thing, same thread size. The difference is this is more of an entry level. This is more of a commercial grade. This is gonna flow more air, this larger body, um, and also has a little bit more resistance to seal itself back up. Sometimes these small ones, uh, they do work great, but depending on how dirty and old your tank is, sometimes um, don't seal up quite as good. But the object here is, is you have a cable, um, and I should have untangled this before this video, but you have a cable here that runs all the way up to the top of the compressor um, and the drain screws in the bottom of the compressor. So you're gonna screw this quarter inch MPT drain into the bottom of the compressor. This is gonna run up to the top. Um, you don't want the, it to be tight. There needs to be slack in this line because you are not pulling down on this drain. You're actually pulling it to the side. So this valve has a spring in there. Um, so when you pull, it, it's pulling it to the side. So that, and then the air drains, as soon as you let go of that cable, it seals. This is really popular for people that don't want to get down under their tank and, and drain it. Um, it's really handy. If it's a smaller compressor, you can obviously shorten this cable up. You're just using it for something to pull. Um, and 
like I said, they're the same. This is just the more com the commercial version. We have both of them on our website. All this is available on our website. Um, and you, if, if you need any information, you can always call us. So this is pretty much the uh, most innovative tank drains on the market as far as their electronic. There's gonna be many different brands of this, uh, many different options, uh, different qualities. This is one of our higher end ones uh, that we sell the most of. We've sold it for the longest period of time as well. It's a brand we've carried for probably over 15 years. Um, but uh, this valve, uh, it's an electronic solenoid with a timer on the front. So you can set this valve to stay open from anywhere from one to 15 seconds. So that's how long the valve stays open. and you can set it to drain from every one to 45 minutes. So usually we set them at about 45 minutes for about two to three seconds. So every 45 minutes, it drains for three seconds and then shuts off. You should only have mist coming out of the, the drain at that point in time. If you ever have liquid, that means it's not draining often enough. So you need to turn that up. So you will have a Y strainer, which is this part right here. Um, this uh, is what's going to adapt to your tank. There's quarter inch female MPT on this, as well as half inch male on the outside to adapt to different applications. Uh, but this is, there's a screen in here to strain any of the debris before it goes into the solenoid uh, to basically make the valve last longer and keep it from getting clogged up. If you ever need to clean this, you shut this ball valve off, you undo the end of this cap, you can take the screen out and clean it. Most of the valves we sell are like this, but anytime you're buying an electronic tank drain, you need to make sure it has a Y strainer. Some of the cheaper ones don't, and you get them, they're gonna last a couple months and it's not gonna work anymore. This valve right here, I believe, runs around $100. Um, we have some up to $150 and as cheap as $40. It really depends on if they're imported, um, if they're U.S. made, who the manufacturer is, and what they're made out of. So a very wide range in price. They all work great, um, but if it's in a commercial application, I would suggest getting a better one because it's going to be working more often. Some people will plug these into an outlet that's switchable so you can turn them off with the compressor so they're not sitting there draining your tank when the compressor's off. It, it's just a personal preference and kind of differs from application to application. I hope that this kind of answers all your questions about the different tank drains. Um, there is a lot to choose from. This is not even all of them that we do have, just the most common ones. But if you ever have any questions, you can always give us a call or visit our website. Uh, our phone number is 1-888-396-8676 or visit our website, compressor-source.com. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you next time.